Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. Let's begin with the incredible work done by three Latino men. Their efforts now recognized in a new campaign called the Modern Hispanic Gentleman Series. And joining us now is one of those gentlemen, Jackson Miranda. He is the manager of cultural development for the Chicago White Sox, and his charity is Clara's House. Thank you for coming in. Nice Thank to have you. Thank you so much, Lourdes, for having me. Okay, so tell us about this great project that they've been do doing through Kettle One, uh, choosing three great men who are really making an impact on this community. I tell you, it's a, it's a privilege to be one of the three. Uh, between Kettle One, uh, the men's book, um, Diageo, something when uh, they come up with an idea to give back to the community, mm -hmm. and um, all you have to do is just say, please get me involved. You know, my biggest thing, Claire's House is a charity that's really dear to my heart. It's a shelter for battered women and children. And with this charity, um, Kettle One is actually donating $2,000 wow. uh, to the charity. And they've hosted an event where we did a silent auction. Whoever raises the most money at the silent auction ends up getting another $2,500 uh, that goes to the charity. So off the bat, you can end up having $4,500 go to your charity. How great is that? Yeah, and that makes a huge difference. Uh, how big of a difference can it make for a charity like yours? Oh, it's, it's, it's the difference of paying the bills. Uh, my charity specifically uh, needs donations of money to be able to pay for gas bill, electric bill, buy food. Um, as you can imagine, there's many women and children that need a place to go. Mm -hmm. And Clara's house is that shelter. So um, through uh, their establishment um, and the shelter, there's a lot of bills that come into play and uh, unfortunately if there are no donations they yeah. really are, have a hard time yeah. so this is uh, a gift from God I would say. Yeah, and it's so difficult right now with the economy being the way it is to try to get people to donate funds and we just looked at some video of the last event that, that you guys had and actually our Don Ponce from WGN was one of the MCs yeah, yeah. and I know he was very happy with it and, and very glad that these three men were chosen because you really get to uh, highlight uh, the great things that not just Latino men are doing but Latinos uh, in general. Tell me why they chose you. Was it specifically because of your work with Clara's House or were there other factors? Actors that came into play here? Um, I would say, you know, Claire's House is, is a big portion of it. Um, the other aspect of it is the work that I do with the White Sox. Um, as manager of culture development, I work with our Latin ball players, help them assimilate to Chicago, to the culture. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I work with them on is uh, community service initiatives. So getting them out in the community and really making a difference because, um, you know, they have the faces that people really gravitate towards. So something coming out from the mouth of Alexi Ramirez saying, mm -hmm. hey, you know, help out these kids, you know, get books for, for the new school year makes a big difference. And people say, hey, yeah, you know, I want to get involved with yeah. that. So uh, the combination of the two is uh, what I would say drew their attention, which oh, I'm glad it did. That's so wonderful. And I know that these players really want to be a part of their community. Is there, is there, what is the hardest part, I guess, like getting them to uh, understand what Chicago is all about, understanding sort of the culture here in the U.S. as you go out abroad and, and, and work with them to bring them into the U.S.? I tell you, um, the, the hardest thing is always the language barrier. Uh, as far as the culture aspect of it, um, Hispanics and Latins, you know, we have such a rich culture that we can blend in anywhere we go. But uh, one of the hardest parts is when you come to a new country and, and you, you read a menu or you try to read a menu and everything is so different. Um, so with them, once they start getting into um, having conversational English, which at times I sent a text to Alexi earlier today in English, and what he does is he ends up translating it through his phone, gets Google, and knows what I'm saying, so then he <laughs> responds back to me. You're kidding, so, that's yeah, great. So, we have so actually you won't help him out and send him a text in Spanish? Come no, on. I won't. I won't. Actually, won't. if he sends me a text back twice in Spanish saying, okay, what are you saying? Then I'll end up sending one back in Spanish saying exactly what it is. Okay. But it's one of those... Um, the more we practice, the more we communicate with each other in English, in that language, the mm -hmm. easier it would be for him to really start um, taking it in and then yeah. being able to speak, which he's gotten immensely better in his English, which that, is great. That is a great help. Um, you and I were talking about before the interview how, you know, I go to classrooms all the time and I see, you know, 30 girls and maybe three young men in that classroom. And it always strikes me because I think what is happening with all the young men nowadays, especially Latino men that are not either not graduating high school or not going on to college, you're a great example for them um, to want to succeed, want to go on to college, want to, you know, do great things for the community. Is there any advice that you can give them and sort of what, what pulled you through? 
I tell you, the, the biggest advice I have is, is education. Um, that is the biggest key to success in anything you do. Uh, the smarter you are, the more you know, the more enriched you are in your culture and life and, and everything in general, uh, the easier it is to communicate with people, the easier it is to really um, be able to succeed. And for me, I was uh, very fortunate that I had um, the Boys Club of New York uh, was something that kept me off the streets in Chicago, excuse me, in New York when I was growing up. And they gave me a scholarship to go to a prep school. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I ended up... Um, you know, really excelling at what I did. And um, from there, I got a full scholarship to UNC in Chapel Hill to run track and field. And if it wasn't for one, the other things would not have come in sure. play. So mm -hmm. it all started with the education and how well I did on that test. So there's opportunities out there, but you just have to hit the books. You're from New York, but we're claiming you as a Chicagoan oh, now because you've been here 15 years. 15 years. <laughs> this, this, is, this is my love now. This is my love. I love it. Are there other projects that you're interested in, uh, you know, making happen? Other uh, non-for-profits that you want to help out or other projects that you see in your future? Um, as of right now, my biggest concentration is still Clara's House because it's, um, it's a shelter that really has not received as much attention as it should. Um, and I feel that the more um, publicity, the more attention it gets, the better it will be for at least to be able to have longevity and getting people to donate on a regular basis. Uh, from there, I would really like to get back involved with the Boys Club and Girls of, of New, well, not New York, but Chicago and in general, okay. uh, mainly because it's such a great program. All right. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks great so to meet you, me. Jackson uh, Miranda. Again, one of the gentlemen chosen this year from uh, Kettle One, the Modern Hispanic Gentleman Series. And you can go online, modernhispanicgentleman.com, to get a little bit more information. Thanks for coming great. in. Thank you so much for All having right. me. Appreciate it. Nice.